we're gonna set the Vanos in. Sweet spots up top. Make sure you align the marks. We're gonna put a bolt in, one of the long bolts from the actual solenoid pack. Just to get it on there. Just to give us something to rest against so we're not holding this thing. Gives us time to play. Don't worry about that silicone. It's not gonna be a problem as far as getting dried out. It doesn't happen overnight. Okay, here we go. We got our sweet spot aligned there. I can't see it with the light. Maybe you can. Yeah, that's that's good. Just slowly push it in, making sure those marks keep up. There it is. There's one. There it is. And bam, mark. Let me get my pointer. I'll show you real quick. Hopefully, you can see that black mark on that gear tooth. You see the black mark on the hub, black mark on the gear, black mark on the hub. Now what we have to do, we're about 10 millimeters out right here, and we're at a point now where we can come in here and we can align the Vanos oil pump disc. And it's gonna reach in for my little dental pick and rotate it up. I've already marked the small holes, so I'm not getting the wrong holes. And now we can slide in a little bit further. So what they're going on is those original teeth. That's where those the holes go in. So you can see it right there. Okay, here's the original pump holes. And here's the new ones. And we're going for the new ones. So I marked them. Remember, those are the smaller ones and they have a tighter fit. Okay, we're going to reach on a little dental pick here. We're going to align these teeth. And there it is. It's all set. Now we got to space this out five millimeters here. And then we'll... Tighten that bolt and that bolt down there, that bolt and that bolt. Two that are 180 degrees apart. Okay, we're spacing it to five millimeters, so you can use the calipers, or if you bought the special kit, it comes with some five millimeter spacers, but this is cheaper and just as accurate. So we got five millimeters. Okay, now we're gonna lock down some bolts. Okay, get your 10 millimeter wrench and go ahead and lock down. We're gonna lock these down evenly. And then we're gonna back them off a quarter turn. And that will leave enough residual tension on the springs to where they won't slip too much, but it will allow us to uh, set the timing. Okay, we set our gap here of five millimeters. We have these tightened down. So they're directly across from each other. 180 degrees off from each other. But don't, you're not torquing these down. You're just pulling them down where they're snug. And now, here's the key. We're going to back these off a quarter turn. And the reason we're backing them off a quarter turn is what we're doing is we're preloading the springs inside this hub. So by preloading that, it takes all the slop out of the chain and all the gearing. But by backing them off a quarter turn, as we smash these two units together, the head and the Vanos is trying to turn the cams. And we don't want the cams to turn because they're already timed perfectly with the cam timing tool. So by backing these off a quarter turn, these two on the exhaust and these two on the intake hubs, by backing off a quarter turn, we have released enough pressure on those springs to let it slide a little bit and not turn the cam. Okay. All right, to get a quarter turn, put your wrench on whatever bolt you're doing and then make a 90 degree angle. So that's too close. But that's 90 degrees, and so that's where you take the wrench to. Right there. Now you got the quarter turn. Go ahead and do that for all the bolts involved, all four. Okay, before we go, we're gonna double check our timing and make sure our cams haven't moved. So use your alignment tool, and we can see ours is still good. 
and this plate is right against the head we're in a line and we've done this for both intake and exhaust so we're good to go there now we've uh, tightened down these two bolts and backed them off a quarter turn like we were talking about to add to add some pretension and you can see we picked up some space these were originally hand tightened and because we tighten those others down and pre put pretension we've gained this little gap so we know we've got pretension in that okay we're taking this thing down one quarter turn at a time on each side but we're checking our timing on the cams and we can confirm that they did not move at all so we kept our timing our pretension technique worked perfectly so we can continue now we're going to start tightening the bolts up on the hubs and we want to remove this because you don't want to tighten bolts with that on okay we're tightening down all the hub bolts now and you want kind of just want to do rotate around so that they go down very nice and evenly so we're going to get all the ones we can get to up here and then we're going to rotate this okay we've got the top hub bolts screwed down tight so now we need to turn the crank so that we can get the other three so you'll see our cam alignment tool is out and we're going to pull the crank pin and we're going to go ahead and turn this thing clockwise Okay, we're gonna tighten these down. We're just double checking some bolts, but we've got them all tightened down tight now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the engine over and find top dead center again. Okay, as you spin this engine over, you're spinning the crank look for your lobes on the cam to be pointed towards each other that gives you an indication you're pretty close to the top dead center again and you're, then you're going to take your crank pin and try to pin it through that little hole and that tells you at least at the crank you're on top dead center okay we're installed so we're good now we're going to take our cam alignment tool and that's going to tell us if our cams are in time with the crank And that pokes in and we see zero gap against the, the head so we're good there on intake and then on exhaust zero clearance on both sides so we're good to go okay we happen to get perfect timing on this try but in the situation that you don't so let's say you have one cam off Loosen up that cam's hub bolts and then take a 24 millimeter wrench and you can go on the cam itself and adjust it the direction that you might need. And then you can go back, tighten the hub bolts back up and redo your timing. Okay, now that you're all timed up, we're going to finish putting all the bolts in the vano. So we got one, two, three bolts down there. Go ahead and put them in and take them down nice and tight. When you're setting the, the timing gears up on the Vanos, these pistons are supposed to be in full retard right here. And you see they're all the way out. That's the stop that they butt into. Uh, I kind of wondered if maybe they might have moved on me uh, when I pushed everything together and I wanted to double check it. So all I did is I pulled the caps off and I made sure that the pistons are, are fully back against the Vanos stops. And that's right where they're at. We're, we're in good shape. This engine's in perfect time.